This is part one of a four-part series course, of how to make a two-part silicone mold. In part one we will show you, how to divide the object, laying it into a clay bed. In part two, we will be, applying the silicone of the first part, and making the backing for it. Part three will be, removing the clay bed, and doing the second silicone part, of the mold. Part four will be, casting a smooth cast 300 replica, of the object. If you are based in South Africa, you can purchase all the materials used, from AMT Composites. AMT branches are in Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban. We are going to make a two-part, silicone mold of a gorilla skull. The materials we will be using is as follow. Plastiline sculpting clay, or similar modeling clay, a pieces of of cut wood, a piece of board to work on, silicone rubber and catalyst, Thevex, silicone thickening agent, material 1 resin, triaxial glass fiber, smooth cast 300 resin. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do, is to draw a line, where you would like the dividing line to be. Remember, it will be a two-part mold, and this line would separate the top part of the mold, with the lower part of the mold. To use less clay, pack some of your off-cuts, around the object, till it is close to the line you just drew. By using wood, it will later be easier, to remove the clay again. Now start to pack clay all around the object, and stay below the pencil line. We call this the clay bed. Make the clay bed at least, around 100 mm wide, around the object. Work the clay into a flat even smooth surface all the way around, I use clay that I melted earlier and let to cool down, to make the spreading of the clay easier. When you have a rough bed all the way around, you can now move closer to the object, by making small sausages of clay, and press it lightly, against the object. Very important, the clay should be as close to 90 degrees to the object as possible. Use a sculpting tool to achieve this. The better you do this, the better the casting will be later. On to the next step. Making key holes. These holes will be the registration holes, for the two parts of rubber. Press a round object into the clay, so that it forms a half moon hole. Do this not closer than about 8 mm, from the object and around 30 to 50 mm apart. By doing this, it will create a little burr around the holes, that needs to be cleaned, and smoothed it again.
You can now use Vaseline to make the surface even more smooth. Clean excess Vaseline with a cloth. Next step, is to build a containing wall around the object, to prevent the silicone rubber from running away from the object. Cut strips of clay into square bars, approximately 20 mm wide by 20 mm high. Make sure the wall around the object, will not leak any silicone. Now the object is ready for the silicone rubber. We will see you in the next episode, doing the silicone rubber. Hope you enjoyed it so far, and see you in part 2. Thanks for watching.